Hello and welcome to another draft here. Today is a very special draft. Stars over Innistrad Remastered is back online and it also has um, original Innistrad cards. This uh, That's the symbol for Shadows Remastered. Shadows of the Past, I think. Um, and so it's like an extra pack or an extra slot of cards from the past here. There's like a bunch of pretty good cards. Mad Prophet's good for madness. I think Kindly Striker's just pretty good as long as you can get to Delirium. Deadweight is great. Ravid by Geist Archives is now common. I'm going to go for Kylie Stranger. Like a two for one creature if you. All you have to do is enable Delirium, which is not that hard to do. Next, we have another interesting pack. There's Galvanic Bombardment, which is a shock, but it gets better for each Galvanic Bombardment in your graveyard. Um, there's Rabid Bite. There's Obsessive Skinner, which is downshifted to common, interestingly. Lupine Prototype, downshifted from rare. Um, Dalton's Cather is pretty good. There's some Madness cards here. Lone Rider. Three more life. Transform it. I think because I started with a Delirium card, I'm going to take this Obsessive Skinner. And then maybe... Uh, if Humans is open enough... I'm going to go into that, but... Two Delirium cards that are quite good go pretty well together. Okay, what do we got? There's a Thermo Optimus, which is upshifted. Um, same as it was in Shadows of Rinnishrod. Uh, or was that? Yeah, I think it was Shadows, not. Okay, okay, a couple of Madness cards. A good combat trick. Clues are nice. Firehound. I might take this ever after, like, returning two creature cards from the Gravity Battlefield. And it like, goes on the bottom, so it gives you inevitability. Seems like it could be pretty good. Also indulgent in aristocrat for vampire deck. I do love Zerma Alchemist, but the cards we have do not go with it at all. Uh, okay, just another human's card. Yeah, let's try this out. Green black, maybe. Cursed Witch. Um, so it dies, returns as a cursed, and then the curse makes the enchanted player lose one life. Thank you. Not that. There's a Toppelgeist, which is a fantastic delirium card. Um, there's also Thraben Inspector, which is another very good white card. So Alchemist Greeting for the Madness deck, Genius Scab for the Spells deck. Yeah, not much here for a green black deck here. I think I'm gonna take Toppelgeist. I do love Thread of Inspector, but I'm gonna go with Toppelgeist. It does have Delirium. It's possible we can splash it, maybe. Oh, okay. So the extra or the Shadows of the Past card here is Zombie Pale. Ever After does make them both zombies. This could be a signal to go zombies. A signal for vampires. Um, there's a Wretched Griff. Which I don't think is that good. There's not that much creatures that are like you want to emerge from in this format. From what I've seen, it's also a Bloodseeker. So vampires or zombies seem to be pretty open. So I think I'm taking the Diagraph Captain. This is the highest upside. If things go right here. Okay, two block only flying, two two, entered off the church. One weirding wood. A neonate for the vampires again, another madness card. A fairy fury, okay. So vampires are appearing more. This does manifix. Um, 
you can just take this accomplice because we mill it it's fine and it like it turns into a zombie or zombies so okay with that i think Nice reach three four uh menace wow another three for inspect that is and maybe we're just white black and there's not really any cards here I'd want for zombies anyway. Urban Inspector is just very good. Take it. And now there's Borrowed Grace, Fake Fairy Paladin, Moonlight, Moon Mist. Cards I don't want. A bunch of cards I don't care about. If we are white black. Maybe we play this puncturing light. This instant, so Ethereum. This is our opening pack. Lunar Mantle can help us get Delirium. There's this really good zombie card. There's a guy the archives. Okay, so actually blue is getting pretty open too, which is not that surprising. I think I'm just going to stick on to the zombie plan here. Maybe. Meanwhile, good human cards coming down the pipeline. I'm not really sure what to pick here. I don't want, I'm not going to play Weirded Vampire in any of these builds. Grapple would be pretty good for red, black, green, delirium. But I think white is just too open to ignore right now. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, in case blue white ends up being the pack, this is good. Bob is good, and it's a zombie. Okay. Golden is good for delirium, shelf mill shenanigans. I'm not really sure what is happening in this. Cards. I don't get to the Valerium. And a Spirit. And another Spirit. Okay. So, Spirits. That's the path? Maybe? Maybe Spirits is the way to go. It's not playable. That's fantastic for delirium stuff. That's just a red bomb. But if there's anything we can't play, it's red. I know we're some kind of Esper combination. I think I just want to take the Scarecrow. It can fix, and having an artifact creature is really valuable for delirium. Better than taking Cripple Fragment? Probably. I don't know. I very well could be dirtling too much. Messing around. Trying to figure out what my archetype is. Okay, so this is kind of, this is pretty good for zombies. Good for a spells deck, but it does make zombies. Um, Lands on Elite, pretty good for self mill, madness. Huh. Should Griff is free card. We don't have good that good of stuff for that. We got Cathar, Occultist. I think it's pretty clear that blue is open. And then do we want to be Zombies? So we've gotten this signal, and we've got this signal for spirits. And I'm gonna take... I guess. Oh, man. Double investigate. Bidding here. Do I have anything to investigate so far? Just an inspector, right? Yeah. Huh. 
sensibility modification to Alright, I think I'm gonna stick with the zombie stuff. I'm not seeing where is there? That's a nice pickup from the past. Okay, and there's no spirit stuff here too. All right. I think we can drop non-zombie stuff now. Click this. We can go hard on zombies now, I think. Another Scott, that's great. Gender is a great card as well. Not a zombie. I don't think I needed it. I do like the card. I think Deterrence is gonna be better in a zombie deck. I need zombies to turn it on. And make my ghoul racer good. So yeah, I'll take Scob here. What is emerge? Emerge is a mechanic where you um they have an emerge cost and then you sacrifice a, as an initial cost to emerge something, you sacrifice a creature and it reduces the cost by one for every for the mana value of the creature you sacrifice. I don't have any emergent cards now, but I will show I show up. I'm going to just take this scrutiny. This card's better than it looks. Uh, hmm. Arian. Okay, so what do I have as Delirium? I have Kindly Stranger. I don't think I want a Fog Walker. I look at my curves. I think I really want explorers either. I will take a Turian. It's pretty free. Maybe we'll splash with it. Maybe we won't. Oh. It's too late to be the clue deck that does that. But there's a zombie dog. At Delirium plus one plus one and Menace. Don't like three mana counter spells. Don't really like Fog Walker. Okay. Our zombie deck is uh, incredibly... There's a take inventory. Could possibly wheel the other one. I don't think I want a certain death. Okay, okay. Um okay, here's an emerge here's an emerge creature. So it has emerge cost five and blue. And when you emerge something, so I've emerged a three drop. It would cost three mana to emerge um, with that card. Oh, that's a good werewolf card. Whoa, the drag under came back. All right, we were so right that blue was open, and we get back. Take inventory. This is awesome. What's not really awesome is how many three drops we have. Oh my god, oh my god. Bloodrine Keeper is just an insane card, but Diagraph Colossus would be very good for our zombie deck. And we have... Oh, well, we only have six zombies, so I'll take the Keeper. I don't think this is a wheel because it's a little rare, but... Be pretty happy to wheel one of these two zombies in this. There's another emerge creature. All right. Well, 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 well. It isn't one of the best cards in Estra. Oh, that's a biggest emerge creature. Um. I guess I'm just going to take another accomplice. I really want, like, actual two-drop zombies, but we're just not finding them. These will be fine, and they'll turn into zombies later, I guess. I don't really anything else I would want from this deck. Okay, there's another drag under. There's an ongoing investigation, which is a very good card in the blue-green deck, but... 
not very good if you can't activate it. Mint the card too. All right, another drag under. Can't do that. Okay, so this uh, skulk. Skulk is a creature. Skulk can't be blocked by creatures with more power than it. So only one power things or zero power things can block this. So it just come to control. You may discard a card. Draw a card if you do discard a card. When you discard a creature card, you may make two if you do create a thing. Butcher's Cleaver is I mean, plus three plus zero and lifelink for humans is great. This is a merge card. I guess if I can touch the sorceries, I'll just take the two drop rare. Be pretty happy with that. But those turn on madness. Oh, whoa. Creature enters the battlefield. If entered from your graveyard or you cast it from your graveyard, that doesn't count. Do I have any ways to trigger that? It's a three mana zombie. Three mana three three zombie? I don't really in, don't really want three threes right now. Maybe I'll take a the drone here being with. Maybe I'm gonna take Chase Journey. Okay, there's a scob, a bearded vampire. Um I mean, we're kind of just turning into a tempo deck with all these scobs and drag unders that we're getting. Pretty cool with that. Ooh, another ghoul razor? That's awesome. It's gonna be really, really good for us. Um, how good are we at turning on delirium? Right now we have two artifacts. I don't want to think I want to play both, but we have one enchantment, three instants, six sorceries. Uh, how are we getting lands into the graveyard? Loot them. Wow, all the ghoul raisers? Okay. We're gonna raise all the ghouls, chat. It's gonna be sweet. Alright, so kind of stranger has delirium. Do we have this delirium? I don't wanna play this game. I don't think I wanna play these take inventories either. Taran can go to the graveyard. This can possibly go to the graveyard. We're very bad at putting each her lands in the graveyard. Um, I I think I scop is better. Scobbud's not a direct delirium. There's also this three three zombie. There's battlefield mill four, but that was just better. And I don't mind milling four, but. And there is no tempo, we might just play these two ones. Maybe. Anything is possible. We're not going to play all of them though. Emerge Spirit. I'm not going to play another Merciless Resolve. Okay, that's interesting. It's an artifact creature. Still better to take the Hunter. Cob waltz. It's gonna be pretty good. Oh, okay, double the cob waltz. Okay, that's too many waltz. All right. Our deck is just zombies for days. Be excited for that. Gotta make a lot of cuts though. Bogwalker, you're out. Altus, you're out. The other three drops are fantastic, but there's so many of them. All right, now how many zombies we have? Now we have 10 zombies. Great. I don't think I want to cut a single one of them. These accomplices are kind of funky. Cut down to like two of them. Three tattered haunters. Maybe. I don't know if I need macabre bolts. I don't know. I don't. I have ever after. I have three cool racers. Okay. 
Still gonna make more cuts though. So still not very good at getting delirium. I have three incense, four sorceries, one artifact, one enchantment, and no way to put lands in my grave. No way to put lands in my graveyard. Besides a dwarf infiltrator. And if I'm doing that, I'm not making tokens. So maybe I just cut these two creatures. Maybe not this one, because it is a zombie. Kindly Stranger is our best removal spell. Other than that, we have like mutation to knock something down. We got drag under turns knees for interaction. Ooh. Um I don't want to ever after. Let's try and just be super low to the ground to Bodak here. And screw me. 18 breakers. Bidding. Down to nine zombies if I cut Alright, maybe we just say screw delirium, zombie tempo is what we're doing. Seventeen lands. This draws cards, that draws cards. Hmm. Our curve is pretty low. Uh, delirium is a mechanic uh, that it's a it, it tells you that the card cares about having four or more card types in your graveyard. Um, there's different cards that give you different effects when you have delirium, but basically you're trying you're, you're just trying to fill up fill your deck, fill up your graveyard with four or more card types. So the card types are creature, instant sorcery, enchantment, artifact, planeswalker, tribal, battle. Which doesn't exist yet, but it's coming. I missed something. I don't think I did. Yeah, I think we just don't care about delirium and we just care about beating people up with zombies. Maybe we'll beat them up with Bowline Keeper. That card's way too good. It's possible that the diagraph cost is, is better than Bloodline Keeper is in our deck. But I didn't know we were gonna get three ghoul razor three ghoul razors at that point. Right now I'm just thinking if I should play sixteen lands or not. And I think I'm not I think we're just gonna play seventeen with this game. I have nine black cards. It's double black. Fifteen blue cards. This makes me wanna do. I don't have any actual double blue cards, so even though I have way less blue cards. For way less black cards, I think it's better to have nine swamps. 
Okay. Well, let's uh let's go battling. Zombie Micro. Thank you, thank you, Twist. Uh, okay. Thing in the eyes. Oh, no. Okay. I'm really hoping to draw a swamp. Unlocks this and then these. Other than that, it would be great to have an answer to thing in the ice. They have to get, once they cast four instants or sorceries, though, and transform it into a seven, eight, and return all non hordes to their owner's hand. One damage any target, create a red. Okay. Sure. That's awkward. So awkward against the devil. Um. It's something that we can do, though. I guess I can mutate the devil. But then it becomes a blocker. That's a problem. I feel like we're getting very unlucky right now. You wanted to get this out and then make them... Come on, dude. Alright. Okay, here we go. Luckily for me, when the thing flips, it's going to bounce all these devils. But I will take seven on that turn, I think. Maybe I can put this on it. Yes. They're going to be incentivized to trade doubles for something. I'm going to be okay with that. I'm going to block this. Get a zombie in my graveyard. My token dies, that's fine. Gonna, probably going to be bounced. My opponent's also missing land drops, aren't they? No, oh, not anymore. Just kidding. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, yeah, that is great for me. When they bounce this, they're going to lose this mutation. I'm going to take three here. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna have exile counter spell for this thing. 
Yes. Okay. What now, buddy? There's an attack with the Wanderer. That's fine. Third. Cost three to give a target zombie death touch until the turn. So Okay. Main phase Storm Rider Spirit. Interesting. Now, uh, Ghoul Razor, Ghoul Razor. an interesting game because I'm gonna take three here I'm gonna go to ten and this is a seven eight I can oh well, this is a horror so this thing doesn't even bounce the scab why would they let me keep this scab and now my ghoul razor gets back ghoul razor for free Just attack on the ground. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Drill, drill. Uh, actually, I'm gonna scrutiny this. Touch. 
and then <clears throat> the reason I do that is I want Cool Razor to get back Cool Razor for sure. Because Cool Razor is a random zombie card. Plus this leaves us on the board to get more pressure on them. Oh, they're imprisoning my corpse trawler in the moon. Alright. played two instants in sorcery, so they're probably playing way too many creatures on their thing in the ice deck. But I still respected that card because it would have been annoying. Okay. One win. There you see the power of Ghoul Razor loops. We didn't even have our captain. But it was good with Corpse Trawler, letting my guys saw me straight up for anything. It was pretty awesome. Um, it is kind of slow, but great at the same time. Lacking a second swamp right now, but we have some turns to find it, and also a card draw spell. Okay, there's a swamp. Great. Love to see it. Two drop would be nice to see as well. Especially if they have one here. Our werewolves? Uh oh. If they play a werewolf and I don't have a two drop, that's gonna suck. This format does look sweet. Okay, that's a wolf, not a werewolf, but it hurts a little. It feels sweet so far. getting got by Okay, 
think we have the tools to stabilize. This thing flipping. Oh, we'll transform all their little ones. Yeah, that's right. Grabbed by Shiza. Please stop hurting me. Okay. They're missing land drops, which is good for us. Unfortunately, we haven't drawn anything that costs less than three yet. If we draw two drop, we can double spell next round, which would be pretty awesome. I might drag under next turn. Ooh. Oh, let's get it. Plus one, plus one, and trample. Yeah, Seven, which is not great. That is a two drop, not one that I was hoping. Oh, I want to trade for that, so I get to keep a two two. Keep a two two is pretty cool. Now I think I kind of want a ghoul razor. Hmm. Next turn, we can double spell as well. I think a 2 3 is too important because this plus this means I. That is a very good card. Oh, that is also a very good card. First strike 3 3. That's... Can you double strike with Delirium? Damn. Okay. Getting spooky now. I'm gonna need help to deal with a 3 3. I guess an instant speed spell would help. Because I've scob. Uh, I think, honestly, I think the 3 3 is the scariest thing right now. So we are gonna bounce it. Ulrich? Oh my god. And they have Trample? This is really not okay. Holy shit. Great. I'm gonna go to five here. We're gonna go to two here. Their stupid werewolves having trample here is so good. Mm. I'm just like dead to trample, I think. I mean, they don't know that. Somehow I flooded out somewhere along the way here. All they played is uncommons <laughs> and rabbit by an ember eye wolf, so that's pretty good for them. All I've played are commons and one uncommon. Uh, rabbit by. Yeah, that honks me here. If that was a regular fight spell, I could give death touch and survive. Maybe they forget that their creatures have trample. 
That's my note, man. Hmm. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, if they fight here... I still die, but... I get to kill Ulrich now. Yeah, okay. Let's <laughs> start hoping the opponent... Made. What? They didn't attack? Whoa! I mean, I'm still gonna die this Halpack Resurgence, so I don't know if there's a way out of it. Like, I can draw my other drag under and compelling deterrence. Fog line keeper. I mean, it's it's working. My opponent has, for now, forgotten that they have trample, I guess. Or maybe they don't notice I'm at fucking two life. I don't know what's happening. I'm gonna keep playing. It's definitely better for them to just use Dustwatch Recruiter and play this, but... I'm just flip their werewolves. Now they don't get to kill Bloodline Keeper? Ulrich? Alright, oh, I hit it. Okay, opponent. What are you gonna do now? Okay. Now, I'm dead. They, they, damn, they only forgot for one turn. That they did. Alright, well, what they had lined up really well against me. They were a little bit screwed, but they still had pressure on me, and then... Exactly the right amount of lands, and I had too many lands. So, uh, yeah, screw beats blood. Especially when you have a mythic. But it doesn't have removal. Trample, though. That is, that is the worst thing for me. If they didn't have Outback Resurgence for Trample, I think I could have easily won that game. Since I think you probably just showed up, Margot, this is what we're playing. We're playing Triple Ghoul Razor, Zombie Tribal, except none of our two drops are zombies. But it's kind of a tempo deck, because we got Double Drag under, Compelling Deterrence, screw me. And no hard removal. So, I don't know if you've seen, but um, in each one of these packs, there's a card from original Innistrad. There's a set curated list called Scatters of the Past Cards, that are from the original Innistrad or Dark Ascension or Absent Restore. And you get one in every pack. Okay. And then... Uh, for each week that they're out, there's a different set that can be in that slot. And this week is like tribal stuff. And then I should look it up.
Yeah, and Ghoul Razor is one of those cards. A Cursed Witch. Oh, I can cast this for... do that right now. Let's see. I really want to trade off this, so maybe I should have done that last turn. Um, I can still bounce it once it becomes a curse. So that's fine. Yeah, whatever. gonna replay it and then I can turn response. Yeah. Land? I need another land for that, okay. Well I'm gonna turn to the curse now. spells now though. That's the unfortunate part. Oh shit. I have not seen this card yet. They downshifted that to common. Okay. Well, we lost our token for like no reason at all there. They have a gold razor? How did that go to the graveyard? Never.
borrowed malevolence. Yeah. I mean, I, don't, I can't really play around anything right now, but if I had left up double blue here, that would have been better for me. Thanks, Auto Tapper. Alright, I get two for one again. Great. Awesome. My Blazer can gradually get back a stop. I'm gonna block with my Blazer first. Got got by shield man. Got got by Manel Levelins. Can you tell this is my first draft of this format? Not my first SOI draft, but this format where this is a common. I don't remember this card being good. Broken. Yeah. So my token, that makes sense. Why they put it on the two three though? Oh, anguish on me! Shit! All right, cool. Uh, do I have any way to deal with this witch besides killing it? Sure don't. Okay. So they exiled my. That's shitty. Right, we're gonna lose this game, I think. Yeah. Like, I can do this, I can get back this, I can play this, and this, and we are still dead. Alright. I'm not gonna get got by that 2 3 flash again now that I know it's common. I hate that. The games are going long. Maybe I should be playing ever after. Might be a good idea. Oh, finally. A great hand. We have a hand with a two drop. Unbelievable. We're playing six. Okay. Well, if they don't play something that can block this, I think I'm gonna discard and madness this. For value! My only madness card and my only way to activate madness. Wow. Okay, opponent. That was a really fucking slow hand you have there. Uh. I'll just beat the crap out of you. <laughs> this is a very aggressive card that doesn't do anything unless you're you have attacks. Basically dead. Oh, just kidding. That's a biting rain. Great. Um, they should have played that swamp. 
loser, can't get back any two mana out of zombies, so I'm just gonna let's go up here. So that explains their play. They had a biting rain. Brutal. Why did it kill my Oh, it discarded a scout. That's right. My value got all undone. Return target sure. Don't have a creature that I have any target less. So unfortunate for you. Um these could trade. I want to see what Ghoul Razor gets me back. If it gets me back Captain, then I have a good attack here. Let me see if I can another Scob. Uh, in that case, I'll just bounce this. I was hoping they could me back Captain. 50-50. Okay. They replay their 3-3. Three, three, and then they one one Okay. Oh yeah, Ghoul Razor is at is at random. Correct. Return a zombie card at random for graveyard. Otherwise, they would loot so much easier. Which I have two more Ghoul Razors in my deck. It'd be pretty cool to draw them. Not a lot of good cards in my deck. saying alchemist screening. Sure. Let's count down. That's fine. I'm not putting a blocker on the board. They could have blocked and then they did and do, did that. Hello, hello, Blue Razor. Hello, buddy. How are you? Hoping they block Blue Razor now. And then maybe we loop them? Maybe not. We're lucky we loop them. Okay, pass. Darn, didn't get a ghoul razor or captain. Got another scout, ingenious scout. All we get are ingenious scouts. Angel. Okay. Sure. Oh, well, that's awesome for us. Alrighty, get the fuck out of here. And now they have to jump block with their aristocrat. Or they die. Pretty sure. Go to four, five. And they can 
replay their angel, but they still die. Unless they have something, another spell in their hand. I'm not gonna give them credit for another spell, though. By the way, guys, this has done. This 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 has done nothing. Oh, they did discard the angel. Wow. All right. Sure. Okay. Their last card a land. Like, if they played something, that might have saved. If they played that when they were hellbent, that might have saved them. All right, we did it. We won. Is there a last card Emrakul or something? Uh, no. I don't know. Maybe? They weren't close to casting Emrakul. All they had was creatures and sorcery in their graveyard. Alright, let's keep on playing. We're 2-2, two and two, but I think we'd get pretty unlucky to lose those two games that we lost so far, so... I think this is a good deck. I'm not sure if I should be playing this low to the ground, or if I should be playing Ever After. Or another Jason Scrutiny, but... I do wish I had a hard removal. We've got a 2 drop and a scab. First strike. First strike. So it should be at 18. But it made a mistake. Fire hound. Okay. Now I don't have attacks anymore. They get one mana off this conduit of storms. attacking I'm out of gas
Not great. Um, I sure have drawn a lot of lands this. My opponent doesn't know where the attack button is, so maybe these hunters at the three turn clock. Oh, they found the attack button. Which I bet. Just making do with the five spells that we drew. How more dragon do? Maybe be cool too. Oh, Merwin dragon. Uh, I don't. I Removals. Still don't know their good news. Oh. Okay. That's an out. Win. Okay. I don't think they knew I could block. This creature without flying can't block. All my creatures. Uh, in there, non blockers. So, chump blocking. We're dead to like any instant or sorcery, I think. That's not a good sign. Literally drew six spells and and land. Okay, conduit. That's incredibly beautiful. Okay, we win. No, GG. Let's go up. Oh. Six spells is all we need. What a stupid game. I would have lost this game very easily if they just realized their wolf had first strike or could attack ever. Um, They missed a lot of damage on me. But I was able to exploit uh, their misplays and win. Well, yay! Yay for winning. I like winning. Justice, better player one. <laughs> no, I barely had any decisions to make ever because I had no spells. Oh. 
Kobe. But I'll fucking take it. I think 17 lands on the draw. So good. Using a hyper Vegeta. I mean, I don't want a mulligan. Because I have a 60% chance of hitting him. And he's even a swap. That's what we want. Now, now we want another swap, but maybe that's too. It's a heck of a good card there. Bounce it. Pressure it. I'm gonna hope that opponent either doesn't trigger this or doesn't get glued. Pressure. Pick seven. Go ahead. All right, give me land off the top. I am thrilled. Don't tag with that fish. No, I'm never gonna block. Honestly, I have Ghoul Razor. I don't really care which one of these they choose. I could play Accomplice and Deterrence. Okay, that's fine. So, let's go full control. Let's. Against the paladin. Uncle Matterburn, good evening. Bye. Go to good luck, Chuck. When they discard, carded. Okay. Yeah. Now they can't. Also, they've never triggered. Haven't triggered fish. All right, so these can trade for the Paladin. If I want to play, I don't think I want to do that. Give them one. Yeah. I have to pay two to trade with the Paladin. I can't do anything else with my turn yet. Cool Razor. Board. Next turn. I have a very good attack. Oh no, they triggered the Bishop. They got a clue. All right. I think it's still annoying here. Hard. 
this. Don't have Ethereum. Okay, this game is getting annoying. Mm -hmm. see. What happens if I attack with everything? Bishop on accomplice, paladin here. In life, so they can something. It was getting away from me. I have more mana than I do, and they will. I'm still at. Like one of my tempo spells, I drag under to. I've turned it on here. This is a 5 5 now. Cobb is still a good attacker here. Captain is good too. Blue Razor. I don't think Glorizer is getting any better than this. Not gonna get deleted. The four three. They're at two, so they can't kill. Two of my zombies die. They die. I have this captain. Captain does not make the. I'm keeping the Glorizer for a chance to get the captain back. Yep. Oh. That sucks. We're looking pretty dead, though. One man a short back skeleton. They're sacrificing a clue. That's a good sign for me. I'm trying to find a one drop. All right. See what you got. Can't tap anything. Best case scenario, they have to jump with. And you're just. Goodbye. Yeah, that game ended up being a little bit closer than I was hoping. Power of Wool Razor. Diagraph Cap. Hey. Two. Yeah, four wins. Hell yeah. Hmm. <laughs>
Play. Two drop, three drop, two do two dragoners on the play, and two spawn. And it's the dream. This is like our common curve, curve of commons. Let's draw it. All I'm missing is oh, that's an uncommon. Two razors are common. Just in a different slot. Give them. Bob Walker. Didn't even get proving yet. I think we're just crashing right now. Curse you. Alright, we've got one timeout. We'll be okay. Work on D and D stuff. Have a good day. Thank you, Morgoth. Thanks for stopping by. Good luck with your D and D stuff. Are you gonna cube draft tomorrow? I like where this game is going. A black poker and control. Um. They have all this mana open, so I'm not going to. If they were tapped out, I would just slam the key. On the surface, these are oh, really good blocks. Really bad blocks. Maybe they have something. Essence. Uh, I think I don't have anything I can do.
Still got a two for one there. I got a creep. Um. I have a second drag under here. I'm going. Uh oh. I think they have the liner spread here. Yeah, that's annoying. Not done. I'm gonna an attack and then we're gonna Oh, Captain. Captain. Eight. I'm just gonna play this because I blue white's probably not maybe it was that but four three is that I'm not sure why they're playing that now it's such a good card two three flash probably other creatures that was a card to watch out that card got us in an early game, being a two. They don't play a land, I can bounce their Storm Rider. Active effort. Oh, okay. That's fine. Two. So yeah. Boom, got him. What does the captain do? Diagraph captain, two two death touch. For one blue and a black. Other zombies I control get plus one plus one. And whenever the other zombie I control dies, my opponents lose one life. Rina, don't crash on me. The game hasn't even started yet. I don't have any timeouts. Don't do this. This is not how I want to get my third loss. Terrible way for this draft to end. Hmm. 
think it's Loki. Loco app. Probably have one of those two for sure. Don't be as arrow this one. Hoping to get in, discard loot, discard a ghoul razor, and make a 3 2 fuzzy ball. One is now reading Skulk. Yes. Thrilled to trade. Hey. I could just loop them. I could just keep discarding a ghoul razor. Play ghoul razor, get back ghoul razor, discard ghoul. Is there one playing that can block this infiltrator? Hold it. So you think you can race, punk? I'm gonna just... Oh, whoops. That was Damage on the bow. Is it like black and blockers there? Oh no! Wow! We got. Got them. Wow. Not expecting any of the game to be stolen like that. Oh, I was gonna steal the game. Alright, GG pot. Five wins. Not too heavy. Not sure still not sure exactly what the correct field for this deck would have was. Games always went long enough to ever after would have been quite good. 
Probably should have played that. Don't know. Like this. With this build, I don't think I have any hope of getting Delirium. I discard a land to Orphan. But. Oh, I just did instance. Oh, they played a spell that gave. They played a spirit, which lets them tap one of my blockers. Their white creature attacking at my other blocker, and then they played a spell that gave all their creatures plus two plus zero. Fourteen. All right. Um, I guess if I did this again, I would play the ever after. That was good though. 